Folks, thanks for joining us today. My name is John Dubas with Premier Marketing, and we'll be spending the next 45 minutes to an hour or so discussing how Emeritas' portfolio product can help you drive your growth now and is an invaluable tool for you during the upcoming EEP season, in addition to any time else in the year. But this is a great program for you to use to cover a specific need for your prospects and clients and also use as not only an additional revenue stream, but another way to market your services in the community with a program that people need and want. Um, today's presentation is being recorded and it, along with material that we reference, will be sent to everyone by email in, in, uh, after the completion of today's webinar. My brain went dead there for a moment, pardon me. Um, if you would, make use of the webinar software for your questions. There's a section in there for questions. We normally cover everything pretty well during the course of the presentation, but we'll make certain we get you answers to your questions specifically at the end of the presentation as well. Um, a little bit of background information for those who aren't as familiar as to who Premier Marketing is. We're a national marketing organization founded in 1968 that's part of the Integrity Marketing Platform. We have offices across the country. And we act as an insurance wholesaler, providing insurance services to the public through relationships with independent insurance agents, such as yourself. And we do so through contracts that are at the highest possible commission levels with recruiting contracts available to those who qualify. As I mentioned, we were founded in 1968, so that means we had a recent significant event in our history, and that's our 50th anniversary. And we feel that's quite an accomplishment for what started as a small family agency in rural Nebraska that's become one of the largest organizations of its type in our industry. And we do so through a complete and full insurance portfolio. We have the programs to take care of people in the Medicare space, and that includes uh, the Medicare programs such as Medicare Advantage and MedSup plans, and the standalone Part D prescription drug programs. But we also offer a full portfolio of life insurance and annuity products, including final expense and pre-need programs. Long and short-term care products are also available, in addition to disability income programs, and programs like what we'll discuss today, the ancillary benefits with dental vision, hearing programs, critical illness and cancer plans, and hospital indemnity programs. Those Medicare Advantage programs include the national carriers and many of the, the regionals that can make a difference for you in your market with that same philosophy carrying over into the standalone PDP space where those national carriers are there for you. For you. You'll note on this slide that it still has the Envision RX listed. That's to remind me to mention that that program is being pulled from broker distribution nationwide with everyone going internal and we wanted you to be aware of that so you can make arrangements to take care of folks that are on programs that will be renamed from Envision to Elixir. Still, either program going forward um, being available through the broker channel. When we look at the Medicare supplement portfolio that we offer, it's very large and robust, and we have different marketing programs designed to help you be successful in that space as well. When you look at ancillary product in each of the categories that uh, we normally discuss, you'll see that the leaders are there for you in each of those categories. And we're proud to have Emeritas as our uh, guest speaker today because they have some very innovative and strong programs for you in the dental vision hearing area. When we look at the Medicare market overall, if you Look at just the people aging into Medicare, those turning 65, the silver tsunami, the, the aging of the baby boomers, 10,000 plus each day, one every 10 seconds. It's not really giving us a valid idea as to the size of this market. Because if we look at just the people turning 65, we have to take into account some of the people who are not actually accessing all their Medicare benefits when they first turn 65. We see more people progressively uh, opting to basically continue to work after their 65th birthday and some going a few years into the future there. So we lose a little bit of that 
10,000 plus a day when it comes to a market, uh, not a very large percentage, about 8 to 12 percent, I believe, overall. But we also have to look at the folks that qualify for Medicare based on medical disability, people under 65. And this is nearly one-sixth of the market. And the programs we discussed today apply for folks of varied ages. It doesn't have to be just 65 plus, and we wanted to make that clear. It's also a market that has a diverse background, so having a portfolio of products that can address different needs for different people can be very helpful, and that includes folks that are suffering from different chronic conditions. The Medicare population, two-thirds of them have three-plus chronic conditions, and some of them have some challenges with their wallet and savings as well. So having programs that can help us help those folks budget for those expenses can be very valuable to us. And we find that there's nowhere that someone can invest a premium dollar for a dental program and get back the monies that come to them through the benefits that are offered by those plans. Medicare is a series of choices, and the programs that we offer and speak of today address the needs of people no matter what their base choices are. Because you know, I had an old sales manager at Prudential longer ago than I care to admit. That would say to me, John, a decision to make a decision is a decision, and that's true. And basically, folks don't even have to accept the Part B coverage of Medicare if they didn't want to. The vast majority of people do, intelligently enough, but some folks will stop there. They won't even pick up the Part D program, and then they may look for help for different key areas of need. Most of the folks do pick up drug coverage. Some folks will actually also take care of some of the shortfall in the medical portion of Medicare through a standardized, modernized Medigap policy, which some may offer some discount programs when it comes to dental, vision, hearing, but they don't offer real coverage. And then a number of people will opt into Medicare Part C, the Medicare Advantage programs um, for that piece. You will see some dental coverage in this area, but sometimes it's just not enough. So in each of the categories that people have as options for their coverages, they need our help in key areas, and that includes the dental vision hearing arena. When people accept Medicare, those aging in, those accepting it later, or the medically disabled, you see a basic, almost a standard split between Medicare Advantage and MedSup programs that when you look at the percentage of people that go into either, but once again, in either circumstance, they need additional coverage for specific needs, such as dental, vision, hearing. For those folks that stay in original Medicare, well, they may have additional assistance through the VA, a retiree program, um, Medicare and Medicaid as a dual beneficiary, or they may self-insure. In each of these circumstances, once again, having options can be very helpful. We can also help you translate the basic language of Medicare, one of the things that will come to you in the follow-up is a link to an acronym dictionary of sorts. So it will help you with some of the folks that throw out a all of a sudden a series of letters and you go, what are you talking about? I've been doing this for 35 plus years and it's amazing how acronyms are added to the language. Some become archaic in a manner of speaking, but it's nice to have a translator to help us with that. When we look at dental coverage overall, we're looking at a situation where people on Medicare, well, two thirds of them don't have the coverage. Half of them haven't been to the dentist in the past year. A, a good percentage of them spend a lot of money, and there's even some that don't have natural teeth. I remember an appointment years ago when I mentioned a dental writer on a program I was presenting. The gentleman reached into his mouth and pulled his teeth out and set them on the table, and he says, Here's what I've got. What do I need that for? And of course, having a father who went through a number of sets of dentures, none of them comfortable, I'm, I'm referring to the linings and some of the other things that may be necessary, even if you have dentures. So you also have a circumstance where a, over two, well, over three quarters of the seniors say they plan to visit the dentist in the next year. And then you see a significant drop in the percentage that actually did visit. And a lot of that is due to some specific reasons, but first and foremost is the cost. 
And so having a program that can help them budget for that, get a good return on benefits, can make all the difference in helping them with the shortfall in the Medicare arena. Because while Medicare doesn't cover a lot of the things that people are after when it comes to dental health, and so we want to make certain that we have options available to them. Folks that do enroll in Medicare Advantage programs, well, a good percentage of them do have access to dental coverage, but keep in mind what we discussed today is a free fee-for-service type of program that allows them to layer on additional coverage for those needs. We're seeing some really impressive increases in dental coverage for Medicare Advantage plans going into 2021. And even though some of them may be fairly significant benefits, when you look at the cost of some of the procedures or needs within the dental arena, there's still that need for some additional help in the area. Because, well, even in the dual market, a benefit of $3,500 to $4,000 on a plan still may not be enough to get them the dentures that they need or some of the major services. So we want to make certain that we're doing everything to help our prospects and clients run through coverage for different needs because, gee, there's a good percentage of them that spend more than $1,000, which is a standard benefit pretty much in 2020 on many of these programs. One of the interesting pieces of dental coverage is it does help uncover other types of health circumstances, and this can be of great benefit to those folks as well because well, if you got a toothache, you're heading to the doctor. If you got a cold or the flu, sometimes you suffer through it and you don't go to your doc. The dentist can help discover a whole bunch of other challenges within the person's health, and we all know that early detection can be a key component in helping treat a lot of the maladies that our bodies present to us as we age or are exposed to different circumstances. There are different things we can use to help incorporate dental into the Medicare discussion on a generic scope. You'll notice one of the things that's listed is dental vision hearing products. And though some folks don't really care for a scope of appointment, I think it's a great tool to set up discussions on other areas of needed coverage, including hospital indemnity programs that we discussed in a webinar uh, yesterday. Um, and you look at a really large demand products such as dental, this is a great tool that may just prompt your prospect or client to bring up the topic themselves. Plus, you've got that Medicare Bible where on page 49, it discusses what isn't covered. Dental's a big part of it. Dentures are listed on that, that page. So it's a nice thing to help people realize that regardless of their base coverage, if they're self-insuring, they're picking up a MedSup or a Med Advantage plan, they may not have the coverage or enough coverage that is necessary to cover their need. I'm showing my age here because some of you may not remember Pepe Le Pew and Penelope, but Pepe Le Pew was never shy about asking for a kiss. And that's one of the great sales techniques in selling dental programs is sometimes just asking the question. Appointments completed, you're headed to the door, you're pulling out the old Colombo clothes. And hey, by the way, who's your dentist? So some neat pieces that you can use to actually offer the programs. And keep in mind, the more product you have in a household, the better your persistence. Your plans across the board become stickier. It's a, a kind of a neat thing to note that it doesn't even have to be plans all with the same company, just with the same agent. So it can help really drive up what's basically your salary and that's the renewals that you have with your book of business. So finally, you get a chance for me to shut up and we introduce our guest speaker today. And what, who we have with us today is Mr. Taylor Davis, a new daddy. Congratulations once again, Taylor. Um, and Taylor's gonna run us through the programs that we have with Emeritus and how they can really help drive your growth. Taylor, I'm gonna turn control over to you Awesome, there we go. Awesome. Thank you, John. That was, uh, gosh, that was all great information. And uh, 
I learned I learned a lot just uh, listening to you for those past uh, 15 minutes. So, you know, I'd, I'd rather you go on and on about talking about it. But uh, I'm excited to go over, you know, the Emeritus products, uh, really how we stand out from the crowd through our no waiting period, next day effective dates, um, and really much, much more. Uh, what, what I kind of like to go over before jumping into, you know, why Emeritus? I, I like to talk kind of what uh, – John was alluding to is, is why dental and vision? Um, well, you know, sometimes we get, we get hung up on, on what we're already offering, whether that's, you know, AEP is right around the corner. We're all so focused on, on Medicare. Um, then January rolls around. We're still there. We're still having those conversations, life insurance, annuities, whatever you might have in your product portfolio. You know, why, why is dental and vision important to have? Um, I, I'd love to talk about the referrals when it comes to dental and vision. It's a product that's, that's going to be used. Um, John alluded to many different avenues uh, where, where dental and vision can fit in with, with seniors. Um, and with our product, it's 18 plus. Um, so even if they are under 65, they look great product for them. And if they're 120, we have no max age. Um, so that's also a great resource to talk about. Um, and, and our plans are based off of zip code. Uh, our rating is based off a of zip code. So um, the rates don't increase uh, with their age. Um, so just great things, especially in that senior market um, and then with AEP coming around the corner. Uh, but referrals, dental and vision, it's a product they're going to use. They're going to they're gonna talk about it. Um, I was just talking to uh, an agent right before COVID hit. He was sitting at Costco and, and next to him were just uh, a table full of seniors talking about insurance. They were talking about, you know, I saved this much money by going with this uh, with this insurance policy. And then it was almost just going back and forth of how much money they saved. They're going to talk about it. And with regards to dental and vision and, 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 and Meredith dental and vision, they can use it as soon as tomorrow on, on preventive, on basic, on major, on children ortho. They're going to be talking about it. They're going to be, they're going to talk about how much money they save. I'll go over an illustration here in a little bit that'll show really how much money they can save, um, either that's tomorrow or if that's a year down the road. Either way, our goal here at Emeritus is to provide as much economic value possible while giving you the tools to be successful. I think with persistency, John talked about it already, the more products you have, the better persistency you're going to have. It's adding value to your client's life. Again, our goal is to add value to your client's life day one. We don't want them to have to wait to get implants, dentures, whatever it might be. We want them to be able to go tomorrow and provide them that economic value. Reputation, right? The more products you have to offer, the more reputation you're going to have, the more referrals. It's going to grow your business. So just remember, if you're not already offering dental and vision, which I imagine everyone on this call is, uh, but maybe you're, you're not talking about it as much as you wish you could. I'll go over some, some stats here in a little bit. Uh, with with how many seniors um, need dental and vision and who want dental and vision, just it's never really brought up in that conversation. So after you know, kind of talking about why dental and vision, I had to talk about why Emeritus, right? Um, so here at Emeritus, we're we're dental and vision uh, carrier focused. Um, that is our largest division here at Emeritus. You know, out of our let's just say probably right now 2.4 billion, probably 1.8 eight of that is dental. Now we do have a large group side. So out of that 1.8, about you know 1.2 of that is on the group side. But with regards to individual dental, about 600 million of it um, is with this Prime Star product. So it's a very large aspect here at Emeritus, but whether it's group or individual, dental and vision is our main focus. Uh, a lot of the times you might see a, a new carrier roll out a, a plan and that carrier probably Primarily is in that Medicare space, Med uh, Medicare Advantage. Here at Emeritus, this is our focus. We do a ton of research. Uh, it's almost like we, not almost, we do develop from the outside in. We ask a lot of questions. We do a lot of surveys. We want to know, you know, how to provide more economic value. We've done that in the product that we rolled out uh, at the end of 2019, and we're going to continue to do that. We ask a lot of questions. We do a lot of research. Uh, but there's really three things that we do focus on here at Emeritus when it comes to dental and vision. We focus on, like I mentioned before, creating that economic value. We have no waiting periods. We have next day effective dates. We have a very large network. Um, anywhere you look in any specific zip code, we'll be one or two when it comes to how large our, our dental network is. 
The next thing is, is ease of enrollment. We want that enrollment process to be simple. We don't want you to have to you know, talk about Medicare for 45 minutes and then talk about dental and, and, and the enrollment process for another 45 minutes. We want, we want it to be the product to be simple to understand. As you'll see as we go through this, um, this webinar, we've tried to mirror that group side as much as possible. So um, if that senior has been on a group dental plan for the past you know, 30, 40 years, we want to mirror that. We want them to feel comfortable with the product that they're having and vice versa. Maybe someone is, is uh, 50 years old and, and, and never has had dental and vision before. We want them to understand it as well. So that product simplicity plays a big role um, in, how we, in how we roll out new products. <clears throat> I am happy to say that uh, we are in all 50 states. Um, we do have some state specifics. We have about five state specifics, but uh, the good thing is that we're in all 50 states. So if you do sell in multiple states, our enrollment process is super easy. We have a hyperlink that can be either put on your email address, that can be put on your website. So you don't have to be face-to-face -face with them with our, with our process. So it is good to know that, hey, you're, you might be located in, in Nebraska and you might sell in all the surrounding states. You don't have to worry about oh, is Emeritus in that state? Are they not? We are in all 50 states. You'll see the ones in green and blue on our new Prime Star Protect plan. I'll go over that here in just a little bit. The ones in gray are just on our um, previous product, our Prime Star Advantage Plus product. Those six states just haven't gotten the okay yet um, to, to roll the Prime Star Protect plan out. As you can see, Washington, New York, kind of the, uh, the states that uh, take the longest uh, for new products to be rolled out. But Good thing is we are in all 50 states. So Prime Star Protect, as, as I mentioned before, we rolled this product out at the end of 2019 um, in about 34 states and then the beginning of 2020 and the 10 more. So all in all, we have 44 states um, on this Prime Star Protect product. And like I mentioned before, we, we ask those questions, we, we develop from the outside in, we wanna, we wanna know how to provide the most economic value possible. And with Prime Star Protect, we've, we've done just that, preventative, exams, bite wing x-rays, fluoride sealants. We cover that 100% day one. So you're sitting with your client today, tomorrow they go in, we'll cover 100% day one. I think it's super important. You know, preventative sometimes gets just talked about a little bit. It's a, it's a key part of, of keeping up with, with oral care when it comes to, to your clients. Uh, preventative, just to give you an idea, usually... If no one has insurance, costs you know four hundred and thirty dollars, uh, I think on average, for that client if they had no insurance, just for preventative. So as you'll see as we go through this, our price point, um, we you know we average about thirty seven dollars on our on our price point, it's pretty close to that four hundred and thirty dollars. So they're they're purchasing a plan that covers their preventative, covers their basic and their major, and if they didn't have that plan, they'd be paying four hundred thirty dollars just for preventative, just for two exams per year. So keep that in mind. Sometimes we, we kind of get um, enthralled in the basic and the major and, and, and orthodontics. Preventive plays a huge part. You can save them quite a bit of money um, by having that preventative, by paying that you know, $37, $38 per month. And then if something does go wrong with major or, or with basic and you fillings, you have that great product for them that they can use. So keep that in mind as well. So basic. 65% day one, filling, simple extractions. Talking to your client today, tomorrow, we'll cover 65% day one. Major, root canals, bridges, crowns, dentures, and even implants, we'll cover 20% day one. Same thing, talking to your client today, tomorrow they go to the doctor, we'll cover 20% day one. Orthodontics, uh, under age of 19, 15% day one. Now on year two, on anniversary, so uh, however you want to say it, on anniversary or on plan year, we bump it up to um, basic, starts at 65% year one, we'll bump it up to 80% in year two. Major jumps from 20% to 50% in year two. Ortho, 15 to 50. So like I mentioned before, providing that economic value, whether that's tomorrow or whether that's a year down the road, they're always going to talk about how much money they saved with Emeritus Dental. Benefit year deductible, $50. That $50 is, uh, is not towards preventative, it's way for preventative services. Just basic majoring ortho is for that $50 deductible. I will say um, from 
uh, July 1st through December 31st of 2020, we're actually waiving that $50 deductible for basic and major as well. So same thing, if you're talking with your client today, tomorrow they go in and they need some major services done, well, we'll cover 20%, but at the same time, we'll waive that deductible as well. And that is until the end of the year, 2021, it'll go back to normal with it always being waived on a preventative. And then that $50 deductible will be for basic major and ortho. Benefit your maximum is one or 2,000. Like I mentioned before, simplicity of a product. We want this product to be the best out there, but we want it to be simple and not have 15 different uh, ways to, to build a, a product. We want to roll out the best product possible. Like I mentioned before, no waiting periods, next day effective dates, large network. We want it to be simple. So either if they're under 65 or under 65, it's a conversation piece that, that doesn't have to go for 30, 45 minutes. And then that ease of enrollment is super simple as well. Along with that product simplicity, we want that member flexibility. So we allow that member to go in or out of network. If they do go in network, fantastic. I'll show you just here in a little bit how much money they can save by going in network. We pay claims at negotiated rate. We pay claims at MAC. So what that means is, is we partner with providers um, and we, um, uh, we partner with providers who give really the best negotiated rates. So right now we're averaging about 32% on negotiated rates. It's usually anywhere from 25 to 50% on those negotiated rates. And negotiated rates are, are not part of the coinsurance. So uh, again, I'll, I'll talk more in detail here, just a little bit of, of how it all works together with, with, with uh, being in network and then the coinsurance, but saves the client a ton of money. But we understand we don't have every dentist out there. I'll go over here just a little bit. We cover about 70% um, of the dentists in the U.S. Um, so it's, it's rare to find someone not in our, our network, but hey, we understand that we're not in every, um, every dentist. So we allow that member to go out of, out of network. Out of network, we pay claims at 80 at UNC. So what eight out of 10 dentists charge in that specific tip code? A great resource to use is fairhealthconsumer.org. Imagine everyone on this call has gone there multiple times. Um, it's a website I use quite a bit. Fairhealthconsumer.org, you can go on there and see what dental procedures cost um, in the 80th percentile. So you can kind of get a good idea of the range that it might cost a member if they had no insurance at all, how much it might cost for a crown, for a denture, or any other dental procedures. Great website to use. Why network is important. Uh, I've alluded to it quite a bit during this webinar on, on, on why network is important, um, but I'll say it again. Product and network are, are really tied for first place uh, when it comes to a carrier offering dental uh, products. Without a great product, doesn't really matter what kind of network you have. Without a great network, it doesn't really matter what kind of product you have. You have to have both to provide the most economic value possible for your client. So with, with PrimeStar Protect Network, with a network product, you have lower premiums because we're expecting that client to go in network with a network plan. We have contracted fees. Again, we're averaging about 32%, anywhere from 25 to 50% on those negotiated rates. That's the MAC. That's the contracted fees that we have with the providers. There's no balanced billing. So the same thing I was going over with that UNC, that 80th UNC, quick example, if that client were to purchase an emeritus plan today and they go to an out-of-network dentist tomorrow, and let's just say they need crown, they need crown work done and they go tomorrow, they go to an out-of-network dentist, that out-of-network charges $1,400 for a crown. Well, we would get that claim. We look at what the 80th UNC is in that specific zip code. And for hypothetical reasons, let's just say it's $1,300. We would base our 20% go insurance off that $1,300, and then that provider could possibly balance bill that client for the, the remainder. So again, there's no balance billing when you go to an in-network provider. There's no claims forms. When you go to an in-network provider, all of our providers have electronic claims forms that they submit to us. And really overall, um, either way you look at it, whether they go in or out of network, you're providing the most economic value possible. It's great customer service to have that network plan because you are saving them additional money. Um, but again, either way you look at it, in network or out of network, we allow for it. But I just wanna stress the fact that that network can save that additional amount. And again, out of that referral base that, that I talked about before. 
So our dental network, we are committed to growth, uh, but we're, we're, we are committed to strategic growth. Um, in the last year, we've grown about 70,000 access points. We're probably hovering more around that 560,000 access points nationwide now. Um, everyone on this call knows, um, but I like to just talk about it before I get to the unique providers. But an access point is the actual brick and mortar location where a client can seek dental services. Okay, so we have 560,000 of those nationwide. Inside of those access points, we have 127,000 unique providers, so 127,000 dentists. Uh, I was just reading an article the other day. I think it's, uh, it's anywhere from like 190 to 200,000 dentists nationwide. Like I mentioned before, we're committed to that strategic growth. To be honest with you, if we wanted to go out and get every provider out there, we probably could, but we want to partner with those providers who give the best negotiated rate. If a, if a provider says, you know, I'll give a 5% negotiated rate on a crown, you know, we want to, we want to get with a partner who, who provides a lot of economic value for that client. So that's why our, we are committed to growth, but we're committed to that strategic growth. And again, we're anywhere from 25 to 50% on those negotiated, negotiated fees. Um, and we're hovering around that 32%. To put that into a hypothetical illustration, you guys are more than welcome to use this hypothetical illustration. Um, <clears throat> and I say hypothetical just because I took these numbers um, and uh, put them into to normally what would happen uh, with regards to having an emeritus product and by, by going in network. So I actually went to fairhealthconsumer.org and I typed in, uh, is it actually a Minnesota zip code 55379 and looked at what the 80th UNC is for crown work to be done. And that specific zip code, it's just over $1,200. So realistically, if they had no insurance whatsoever, they're going to be paying around $1,300 uh, for crown work. So <clears throat> let that on network rate on top of that. So like I mentioned before, without a great network, it doesn't really matter what kind of product you have and vice versa. So with regards to our network rate, again, our, our average is about 32%. So tack on 32% before you even talk about co-insurance, you're saving that client already $400. And then you tack on the 20% because we have 20% day one coverage on major. Crown is a major. You're saving that client $580 day one. That is providing economic value. The referral base. They're going to be talking about this in Costco and saying, I just saved $580 by going with, Mr. and Mrs. Agent with the Emeritus Prime Star product. $508, that could be for uh, an emergency fund, that could be for a vacation, whatever it might be, that's a lot of money. Now let's look at year two costs. So same thing, they go to an in-network provider, our negotiated rates are anywhere from, you know, 25 to 30 or 25 to 50%, but our average is hovering around 32%. So same thing, in year two, they need crown work done, Take that 809 and times it by 50%. So you're going to claim $822. Year two cost for them is only 405 Again, any way you look at it, our goal is to provide the most economic value. I say it quite a bit during this, but it's given you the tools to be successful. You can talk about how much money they can save, um, and, and those referral bases will come in handy with regards to dental and vision. John's touched on this quite a bit, so I won't spend a, a lot of time on Medicare. AEP's right around the corner, so I'd like to add these, these couple slides uh, when, when talking about Prime Star Dental. Uh, and everyone on this call knows how to start the conversation. I kind of put these in there for more along the lines of, of stats, uh, of how many seniors actually need dental and vision. So as John mentioned before, it's, it's really asking that question. Do you currently have dental insurance? What, what, uh, what dental provider do you go to? And, and I don't know if you, if you knew this, but the stat is 71% of people who plan to, are, 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 are going to retire plan on purchasing dental. So seven out of 10 people that you talk to during, during the Medicare uh, AEP, they intend to purchase a dental plan. And as John said, it's as easy as asking, do you currently have a dental plan? Are you looking to have a dental plan? What is your dental plan? What, what would your dental plan look like? Would it would you, would you want to have no waiting periods? You know, would you want to be able to go to get major tomorrow? 
there's a lot of a lot of questions that you can ask, but 70 percent of clients plan on purchasing dental upon retirement. It's a big number. How do you plan on paying? Um, that's a great question to ask as well. You know, do they have money saved uh, saved for for dental expenses? You know, maybe when they retire, that's not in the uh, the front of their brain of saying, okay, well, do I have enough money for dental and vision? On average, a senior spends just over uh, almost twelve hundred dollars on dental expenses. That's a lot of money. Now, now, does the senior have it saved up? I don't know. You can ask that question, but at the same time, you can kind of ask that question and talk about well, with the Emeritus Prime Star product, you can save X amount of dollars by going in network. They'll pay 20% day one on major, 50% in year two, preventative covered 100% day one. I mean, uh, like I mentioned before, it's, it's on average, people are spending $430 for preventative services. So they're paying $37 a month for Prime Star uh, Protect. And then if something goes wrong, if they need fillings, if they need uh, simple extractions, uh, if they need dentures, crowns, whatever it might be, you're saving them additional money. So that's a lot of money for an average senior to spend on, on dental expenses. And again, traditional Medicare, John went over it quite a bit. Um, it doesn't cover most dental. Medicare Advantage, it's starting to cover a little bit more. But the good thing with, with the Emeritus product is we do not coordinate benefits. So if they do have a Medicare Advantage plan that might offer, you know, $500, $700 in, in dental services, great. But with, with, with regards to here in Emeritus, we do not coordinate the benefits. So switching gears to, uh, to vision. Um, I, I've always contemplated on, on moving vision at the beginning of the, of the, of the webinar just because you know, every every time we, we talk about it, we, we always say dental and vision. We never say vision and dental. Uh, it, it's not really talked about, I believe, that much in the marketplace. Um, it's kind of a, an afterthought. But to be honest with you, as I said with the network and product tied for first place, it's the same thing with dental and vision. They're both important, especially in that senior space. It's increased risk of, of fractures, depression, uh, difficulty identifying medication, bathing, dressing. There's a lot that goes into vision, especially in that senior market that, that sometimes I think just gets overlooked. Um, and the good thing here at Emeritus is we offer both IMED and VSP. So we have 99.9% .9 of the eye doctors out there have IMED or VSP. So you have that option when you're enrolling a client or whether they're enrolling themselves, they can choose IMED or VSP. Maybe they've had IMED for the past you know, 20 years and they're used to using IMED or, or they've had VSP, the good thing is you're not, you don't have to just have one. You, you get to have, have both and, and offer that client whichever one they want to go to during that enrollment process. So with IMED, you're looking at like lens crafters, Pearl Vision, Target Optical. Um, and, and with IMED, it's, it's our cheaper plan of the two with regards to VSP and IMED. Uh, and I'll show you the differences here in a little bit. But an eye exam for an IMED, Policy is $25. Frames and contact is $130. So as everyone on this call knows, $130 allowance. They go out and pick any frames on the shelf. If it's under $130, we will, we will pay for it. If it's you know $150, they'll have to pick up $20 of it. So we had $130 allowance for frames and contact. On IMED, policyholder will pay just over $10 um, for Select Vision, which is our IMED plan. And then benefit frequencies with IMED product is every every 12 months for an exam, and once uh, and every 24 months for eyeglass lenses, contacts, and frames. So switching gears to VSP, VSP, um, you're looking more along the lines of um, uh, independent doctors usually carry VSP. Uh, there is Costco, which is a huge huge name uh, recognition. Walmart just got added to the VSP. Um, portfolio, gosh, at the beginning of this year. So great name recognition, of course, when it comes to VSP, but, but really in the, uh, it's a lot of the independent doctors who use that VSP. Um, so it's our choice vision when it comes to VSP. Eye exam is $10. Mentioned before, eye med was 25. So you'll kind of see the differences in price here in a little bit. Frames and contact allowance is $150. So same thing with, um, uh, with eye med. Uh, you can pick any Frames on the shelf, and we'll, we'll pay up that $150 allowance. VSP, just over $16. So uh, with IMED, it was just over $10. VSP is just over 16 
you'll already see it um, with the uh, with the less exam with the higher allowance. Benefit frequencies are different as well. The exam is once per year. Eyeglass lens contact and frames is once per year as well. So what it really boils down to, when I talk a lot about when it comes to vision, um, is where they used to go, whether they've been going to, to Costco for the past, you know, how many every years, uh, and they're used to using VSP, or, you know, they've been going to Pearl Vision, so maybe they've had IMED for a long time. It really depends on, on where they're, they're used to going. And if they're not used to going anywhere, then it really boils down to what's their budget? Are they looking to spend $10? Are they looking to spend $16? And then the last thing is benefit frequencies. If they need to go once per year for eyeglass lenses, contacts, and frames, VSP would probably be the way to go. If they don't need to go only once per two years for eyeglass lenses, contacts, and frames, then iMed would probably be the way to go. Really depends on those three statistics when it comes to vision and what that client is looking for. So our enrollment process, um, again, I absolutely love our enrollment process. You can get it, you can, enroll a client in under two minutes, super, super quick. So what'll happen is once you get contracted with us and maybe you're already contracted with us, you'll, you'll receive a personalized hyperlink. This personalized hyperlink is specific to you. So don't use another agent's hyperlink. Um, don't use our website to, to enroll clients. Um, this is how you enroll. This is how we, this is how we track um, your commissions. Everything is tied to you through this hyperlink. So again, once you get contracted, you'll get this hyperlink. You can put it on your email. You can put it on your website. Um, you can send it to your uh, current clients and say, hey, I just got a great uh, product with Emeritus Prime Star. Uh, you can enroll yourself. If you have questions, give me a call. You know, guys, the limit really when it comes to the enrollment process with our personalized hyperlink. You sell in multiple states. It's not a face-to-face -face sale. Um, so there's just a lot of avenues you can go with, with regards to the personalized hyperlink. Step one on um, when you're enrolling a client is, is to find a provider. Maybe that client has, has gone to, to Dr. Joe on Main Street for the past 25 years and, and wants to make sure that they're in our network. Well, they can search um, to see if that provider is in our network, or maybe they're saying, hey, I don't care what dentist I go to, I just want to be in the Emeritus Network. Well, you can search by zip code by state and look at a 10, 20, 30 mile radius to see what providers are in, in, in the area of that client. You will see once you type in a zip code um, or a state that you'll see all of our in-network providers. So some of the providers will be in green, some of them will be in black lettering. The ones in green just mean they have a higher than average negotiated rate. Of course, we can't put what those negotiated rates are on here because negotiated rates go back and forth, whether it's a crown, whether it's a denture, but we do say thank you to those providers who give up an above average. And again, our average is about 32% on negotiated rate. We wanna say thank you to those providers. So the ones in green just, just have a higher than average negotiated rate. Where this plays a big part is again, if that client says, I don't care where I go, I, wanna, I want it to be, of course, in, in my city, um, but I wanna be in the, the Emeritus Network, I would choose one of the ones in the green, just because they do have a higher than average negotiated rate. Now, the ones in black lettering have a fantastic negotiated rate as well. They're all in network. Again, it's anywhere from 25 to 50%, averages 32. So all the ones that'll pop up are in network. Quoting process, uh, super easy. If you're not contracted with this yet and you wanna run through a, a, our quoting process, you can go to startonemeritus.com backslash find a dentist or uh, that's to find a dentist, but startautomares.com for quoting. Um, and, and you can just test it out, see, see how easy that process is. Just make sure you don't enroll anyone until you get your personalized hyperlink. Uh, but there's very minimal information that we need for quoting. Of course, we need the zip code because we're uh, zip code rated when it comes to rates. Uh, who will be covered? It's either um, applicant, applicant plus one, or applicant plus family. Insurance needs, dental or vision, they're both standalone plans. So if all they need is vision, they can just do vision. If all they need is dental, they can just do <coughs> dental. Or they can do both. Coverage start date, you can have a coverage start date as soon as tomorrow. So it's very minimal information uh, to, to run a quote. So once you hit submit on that quote, there'll be four products that'll pop up. Um, again, I've talked about the product simplicity, about having you know not multiple products, and then all of a sudden here you see, you see four products. So 
same thing I went over with Prime Star Protect, 100, 65, 20, day one, 180, 50, year two. Same thing with all four of these products. Prime Star Protect Network, that's just, again, if your client expects to be in network, go with the network plan. Because if they do go out of network with a network plan, the coinsurances do change. It's like 10% day one on major. Uh, I think it's like 35% on basic. So just make sure if you do go with that network plan, that that client um, is, is absolutely going in network. So you have the network 1,000, network 2,000, and then you have Prime Star Protect 1 and 2,000 as well. This product, same thing I've went over before, 165, 20, day one, 180, 50. Doesn't matter if it's in or out of network, those coinsurances do not change. So that's why it's a little bit more expensive because we don't know if that client's going to go in or out of network. With the network product, we expect them to go in network. Confirmation email. I think this is a great resource um, that we have here at Emeritus is, is uh, through our hyperlink. Once a, an agent either or a client either enrolls themselves or you help a client enroll the agent, you will receive an email and the policy will receive an email. So let's say, again, you um, email this out to your current list of clients and, and say you just got this great new product. You can enroll yourself. You're going to get notified once one of your clients does enroll. Same thing if you put it on your website. Policyholder will also receive an email. That email just says, hey, thank, thank you for partnering with Emeritus. You'll receive an ID card in the mail in about seven to 10 business days. There's no proprietary information that, that is on that email address. It's pretty much just saying, thank you. Here's the time frame of when you're gonna get a, um, an ID card in the mail. You don't have to have the ID card to go into um, the dentist tomorrow. Again, if you're talking with your client today, you know, sign them up today and have an effective date tomorrow, they can go in. They don't need the ID card. That provider, whether it's in or out of network, will be able to, to look up Emeritus and go from there. So what's in it for the agent? We, we've gone over at the beginning of this, referrals, persistency, providing that economic value. With regards to dental and vision, you have the ability to sell 12 months out of the year. Yes, it's a great segue with Medicare of talking about what's not covered, page 49, um, all of that information, it's, it's a great cross-selling when it comes to Medicare. But even with, with life insurance, with annuities, again, retirees, 71% intend to purchase dental. That's a big number. So you have the ability 12 months out of the year. Add to your referral base. Add, add, add to a, a lot of your business with, with, a, with a product like Dental Vision. Referrals and leads, we've touched on that one. It's remaining relevant. Be that one-stop shop. Offer dental and vision if you're not doing it today. You don't want another client be calling your uh, another agent calling your client saying, "Hey, I offer Medicare and dental and vision." You want them to to call you for for all your all your insur all their insurance needs. So be that one stop shop. Persisting multiple products. John alluded to it uh, at the beginning of this webinar. Adding value to your client's life. That's our goal here at Emeritus is to provide as much economic value possible. You'll, you've seen it in the. Next day, uh, effective date, so no waiting periods, um, no waiting periods on, on, on all of it, preventive, basic, major, or so. You've seen it in the network. You've seen our growth on the network side. Again, I, we're, we're hovering around 560,000 access points, a negotiated rate around 32%. That's all providing that economic value to your client. At the same time, we're giving you the tools to be successful by that ease of enrollment. That enrollment process is super simple, under two minutes really how fast you can type or how fast that client can type. There's no e-signature. They don't receive an email that they have to sign. It's very, very simple. So um, if you're not already contracted with us, you know, please reach out to, to Premier and, and complete the appointment paperwork, receive your quoting and enrollment link. We're excited to work with you. Um, you're in great hands with Premier, love working with them. Uh, but uh, John, if there are any questions, I'll, I'll go ahead and answer those. Actually, you already have, Taylor. There were a oh, number of questions, and you covered them in the course of your presentation, so that worked out very nicely. I'm going to pull control back and finish up. Um, let's see here. There we go. Thank you once again, Taylor, for the presentation. Uh, uh, very succinct, and I think some of the tools that Emeritus makes available to us particularly now in the pandemic atmosphere, makes it so simple to help people simply by reaching out, asking a basic question, 
and then moving on to a very simple enrollment process, and we thank you for that. Some of the things that you can get with us here at Premier to help in this effort, well, we, we computerize a whole bunch of different things nowadays, and it includes a contracting process if you're looking to contract with multiple carriers, putting your information insurance bay and creating an agent profile allows you to pick up additional programs to offer. Um, sometimes a carrier doesn't participate in this, and in certain circumstances, a direct link to the carrier can be quicker. We just want to make certain that we handle your request in as timely and as efficiently a process as possible. We also make available to you, as an independent agent, discounted errors and admissions coverage um, for a qualified agent. What's a qualified agent? Well, that's an agent with a contract with us. But this isn't like adding you to a blanket policy for one particular program. This is protection that you own and covers you regardless of whom you contract through for different insurance products. This does also cover variable products, which is coverage that's getting much more difficult to find nowadays. We also help you protect your license with uh, bundled uh, continuing education courses through our association with WebCE, helps keep you in play there. And you can add to your own benefit package with a modified guarantee issue, guarantee issue disability income program where you have discounted rates and you share in the commissions. So it's a great way to protect your ability to earn money as well. And as an independent agent, you create your own benefit package. Much is where today's presentation is being recorded and will be sent to everyone who's responded to our outreach for this webinar. We do also post the recordings as soon as we can to our website at premiersmi.com and to our YouTube channel. This includes product presentations like we've done today with Emeritus, but it also includes different marketing ideas and different topics that can help you drive your business or yourself and your agency. And it includes electronic quoting tools across the spectrum, including our CSG tool, which includes different categories of product. And you'll notice dental is in this, and Emeritus is a carrier available through this quoting system as well. We do also offer the Medicare Center Program, which helps you with your Medicare Advantage and then PDP programs. It also, like the CSG program, helps you collect an electronic scope of appointment and store it compliantly for that 10-year period and send out valid, compliant comparisons of some of the base medical coverages that people are looking for. Great way to use it as a um, mini CRM as well and an opportunity to go into the database of folks that you've enrolled or that you've talked to that didn't enroll to cross market products such as the dental programs. So it's a great way of bundling in different electronic tools to make you more efficient and make your life as easy as possible in uh, getting additional clients to your book of business. We also make certain that we give you a focal point to assure yourself that you're getting all the compensation that you're entitled to by selling different programs. In the Medicare world, the Medicare Advantage and PDP program max a compensation set by the government, but other programs give you an opportunity to qualify for trips or additional incentives, and those carrier incentives also help you qualify for the Premier Producers Convention as well. So it's a great way to make certain that some of the extras you earn outside of commission are made available to you. We do also help you with different ways of getting in front of folks to offer these programs, including custom calling lists. You can cold call for dental programs, a very simple approach. And it's a time period where some people are, well, hey, they're at home. They're answering the phone. We also do different things with community-based marketing programs with centers of influence, um, participating in the different retail programs that are out there like Walmart or some of the other retail opportunities available through carriers. That's something that's in play now. A lot of the Walmarts are already spoken for, but we have a rollout coming soon with a carrier, Aetna, with CVS opportunities that are still available to you. Other centers of influence in the community includes reaching out to some of the faith-based organizations who like information about programs such as dental programs offered by Emeritus, and they may be that hot topic that gives you the opportunity to ingratiate yourself with that organization 
and do regular meetings there on different programs with rotating topics perhaps. But we also help with provider marketing. And one of the things that we're seeing in different aspects of this is not just doctors and specialists that are being approached or other folks that deliver care under Medicare programs such as DME companies or home health agencies, but a key component in the community are dentists, a provider that provides services for the programs that we offer, and we have programs that can help you market through those dentists as well. And when you have such a nice tool that like Emeritus offers with their provider search, it helps you pinpoint different providers in your community that you can approach because this isn't just for Medicare, a key component, but as Taylor mentioned earlier, it goes down to 18, and you don't see some of the same challenges with approaching dentists, and they need help with their accounts receivable, so programs like this are very much welcomed by different providers. Different carriers do offer prospects at different times of the year. You see this with some of the PDP and uh, MA companies. This is kind of a quid pro quo situation where if you've worked with them and you have a relationship with local management, it's a great way to get in front of people through that means. We do also offer internet leads, we'll go into greater detail, and direct mail support. The internet leads, we have a Facebook lead program for both med subs and final expense that's been very successful. And we do subsidize, help subsidize the cost of different mail programs based on production. You can really dive into this with consistency, cut your costs uh, nearly in half in certain circumstances, and that gives you the opportunity to do this consistently. It's like an exercise program. You do it once, you feel kind of the pain. You do it consistently, you see the benefit. These are the preferred lead vendors that we use in this area. Um, we use preferred lead vendors simply because it gives us the opportunity to vet the information that's going out to make certain that um, we're not going just for return, we're also making certain that we're protecting ourselves and remaining compliant. Two rows of it, because the top ones for Medicare and ancillary products, the bottom row is for final expense. And now's the time to do this. If you're doing direct mail in anticipation for AEP or as part of a regular component of your marketing plan, planning ahead, and timing the mailings can make them much more effective. And our lead vendors are very good at helping you create a program with either repeated mailings on one topic or varying the letters that go into your chosen target market and can make that return even higher. We do also offer a new program where these are direct mail responses, but you're not actually working with a, a company that's doing a mailer with a specific topic in mind that you've designed, these come back for uh, T65s and MedSupt and are one-offs and you can purchase them in different amounts. Sometimes that fits better with some agents' budgets. You know exactly what you're getting. The other way, well, you've got a percentage. You can really drive down your cost of that, your acquisition cost with a direct mail campaign, but this gets you in front of people and can do it quickly. All this said and done, this is a package we're looking to use to help earn your business. We feel that a dental program, particularly that of Emeritus, can be a valuable piece of an overall marketing program. And as we want your business, we realize that you need business as well. And this can really help be a key component in your overall marketing program. It's a question of making certain that you commit to it and drive forward and act on it. As John Wayne said in the, the movie, The Cowboys, hey, we're burning daylight. That round to it uh, doesn't spend very well. We just need to get it up and going. So all that said and done, you can reach any of us here at Premier through our toll-free number at 1-800-365-8208. If you're working with a marketer, they can connect you right to them. If you're not, we can set you up with an individual within our community that can really help explain these programs in greater detail and help you work up that personal marketing plan. You can also reach us through our website at premiersmi.com, and we will do everything we can to help support your marketing efforts. A quick check on questions to see if we've covered them all. We have. 
So that said, I want to thank you for the investment of your time with us here today. We look forward to visiting with you in the very near future. And until we speak again, hey, we wish you good selling. Thanks so very much, and we'll talk to you soon.